Hamish. <laughs> Good morning. It's lovely to connect with you. Actually, that's not correct because we need to see all of the paper. So I'm going to have to move you back. Maybe back there. So you can see everything. Good morning. Welcome. I'm very excited. We've got lots of things to do during this connection today. So uh, welcome. This is our healing event, our personal, uh, sorry, our healing list event for patrons. That's my Temple of Balance patrons for January who have um, um, <laughs> contributed uh, 15 US dollars or more for this month. So thank you so much for your support. We've got lots of stuff happening. You're usually, you've usually got your back to this area because usually I have the camera facing this way. Rebecca, good morning. And I suppose I'm not usually here on a Sunday, am I? So that's interesting. Um, so we've got lots to do today. I'm going to be drawing. We're going to be creating a path here. And then I'm going to be pinning your names to that path. I've also got my newest drum, the Wolf. Canty, good morning. I've got the drum, uh, the wolf drum I'm going to drum with um, after we get our names up on here. Um, we'll squeeze in some time for smudging, so we'll do that too, and we'll pull a couple of cards as we go. So lots to do today. I feel very excited <laughs> about this connection. So it's very much focused around direction, direction. And like you may have seen this morning or recently, I just posted... <laughs> I just posted on my Temple of Balance Facebook group the meme that direction is much more important than speed. So I'm very much in the focus of direction today for us. So I want to draw a path and I want to pin your names up on this path like stepping stones for us all as we journey on our path. So I'm thinking stepping stones, personal progress, direction, movement um, and also we could add their focus because focus is really important but also focus and flow so focus is important for moving forward but also flowing in that direction we could also add there actually um, trust trusting in the direction that we're taking and the steps that we are um, walking through as we move along our path excuse my <laughs> my chords here in the background but uh, all is good. So let's start with some smudging to clear the way. So clear ourselves so that we can anchor and uh, deeply connect with our path. So I've got a little bit of sage here. So I like that. Whew, we'll do some saging, some smudging. Uh, the energy is very fast. It feels very fast and uh, strong. So I'll try not to speak too quickly. So take a nice big breath. Okay. <sighs> nice big breath. I've got a blank canvas. And some of us, maybe you've got a blank canvas before you. What are the possibilities? This is blank right now, so it's a very exciting point to be at. And maybe for you, you've got something ahead in your life or something coming up or something that you feel is in the air that is a bit of a blank canvas right now where you don't know what's coming you don't know what's scripted for what's next so we're going to create and help manifest that it's a bit like a vision board is how I'm seeing it so let's ask this sacred smoke to wash over our bodies and carry away with it all negative energies entities Cords, hooks, attacks and attachments. Everything that's holding us back from moving forward or moving forward in the direction that um, aligns with our highest truth and the direction that we're moving. Everything that's blocking that flow, everything within us as well, our own attitude, our own behaviour that may be blocking that flow and that movement. Let's be willing to surrender that now. Let's also surrender our worries and stresses and pressure from everyday life and see if we can put those things aside just for this time period. Maybe imagine putting them in a box outside your door so you can be fully present here. 
in the here and now, especially if your name is on the healing list. So let's snuff out the stick. Oh, it's going up my nose. Excuse me for sniffling. Okay, that is out. All right, so now I'm going to draw. Oh, I should have bought my other... I didn't even think to bring my other microphone. I don't think it's here. Let me shuffle around and make sure it's not here. No, it's up inside. Okay, so I've got to remember to talk while I'm pointing at you. <laughs> so when my head's this way, I'll try not to talk. And if I do mump or something and forget, I'll <laughs> come back and tell you this direction. So my intention is right now, good morning. Hi, Jane. Ah, I'm, I'm using blue, just this blue. It's like a medium shade. Um, and for me, the blue feels very truth connected, um, also very much connected with clarity. Um, and it feels like a neutral sort of tone, even though it's not typically neutral. It feels like a mid-tone, a neutral tone, a, a balanced sort of energy. So I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. I'm just going to trust my intuition. But I do know that I want to create a path. And I do know that I want to create points on the path, crosses or some, some type of signal that when we get to there with the names that I'm putting on in a minute, that that will represent that that's the time to pull a card from the healing energy card. So enjoy. Let's see what's going to create be created on this blank canvas that's very much connected with direction, journey, our personal progress moving forward. So enjoy. <laughs> okay.
okay so defining our path is the feeling defining our path and let all the things that are happening around us this could be feelings internal things external things letting those flow and but stay focused on our defined path I'll just smudge a little bit and then we'll start oh no I have to put markers in yet So just smudging and softening, softening the energy. And now I'll put some markers down so we know when to do the... Hi, Raina. Um, when to pull the cards. So let's just... I'm just going to... Sorry, I've got to remember to talk this way. I'm just going to make some little marks. I don't know what yet. Maybe little love hearts. Okay, so it looks like we'll be pulling four cards, one at the start, one at the end, and two in between. So what I'm seeing is, what I'm imagining, is that every person's name, I'm going to pin you in order of when I pull your name out of the pot. I've got 43 of you here on the in the pot today, so I'm thinking 43 steps forward. That's how I'm seeing it. So every time... A name is pulled. Oh. oh, yes. Water of flowing feeling like our path is a river in flow. Beautiful, Rebecca. Thank you. So I'm seeing that every name is potentially a step for us all on this path as we move to wherever it is that we're going. So for some of us, maybe for you, it's about getting back into alignment with your path. And the direction that you're going and that focus of direction, that flow of direction, that whatever applies to you at this time. Maybe you're stepping into the unknown. So this might act as like a bridge that's taking you from where you are now to where you want to be or where you were to where you are now. So it depends on your perspective and what you're going through. But let's all work together to get back into alignment with our path to take these steps that we need to take moving forward. So before I pull the first name, let's grab a healing energy card to start. And I will we'll pin the healing energy cards up as we go because these are just templates, doesn't matter. So the best first card as we prepare to step off, it's almost like stepping off a cliff. <laughs> Uh, stepping off and starting a marathon, maybe stepping off, stepping like stepping past that start line towards something. What are you stepping off from or stepping off into? Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's step off. Let's start this with this card here. It's card 109 and it says, own your power. Own your power. It's in the action category and it says, move forward with strength. Strengthen your body, your mind, your emotions. Take ownership of your power in a healthy, empowering and proactive way. So this is very much... Um, movement action a great starting point and I feel like it's really important for us perhaps to contemplate our power but also um, the strength that we need to be able to move forward so I'm going to pin the turtle here at the start okay so now we start the fun bit who's starting and kick-starting off our walking here Ellen Ellen Stensley. Let's also grab a pin colour because I think the pin colour will be important. Blue, so base chakra, truth. <laughs> uh, and a throat. Yeah, throat chakra. So 
Ellen Stensley starting us off next. I'm just going to keep the pot down and just not look at who I'm pulling out. Rebecca, your second, Rebecca Ross. And you've got a white pin, white pin, purification, cleansing, perhaps. Maybe white means something for you. Specific. There we go, Rebecca. Next is Gail McCoy. You've got yellow pin, personal power. So as these names are going up, I'm imagining us all stepping here, stepping forward, bridging the gap, whatever it is that this represents for you. So Gail, stepping stone. Next, next is next is Kimberly Vaness, and you've got the yellow for personal power, confidence to step forward. Just wondering how to gauge um, gauge the distance or the gap that should be there between each person. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? Matthew Keith, you're also yellow pin. And um, that strength, courage, confidence, Matthew, stepping on your path. And maybe as I'm calling your name to imagine really aligning with your path, like almost like you're being dropped in like a magnet. Bathsheba, good morning. I like you're being dropped in like a two magnets joining together, really pinning you to your path. No doubt. Canty, Canty Devi. Yours is also yellow. There are lots of other colours, but yellow seems to be popular now. So confidence to take your place on your path. Thanks, Canty. Next is Avril. Avril Daly. We have a blue pin for you. So the throat chakra, truth, expression, clarity. On you go. Okay, next is a green pin and it's Emily Fussell. Emily, your green pin. So green connected with the heart, healing, change, growth. Stepping onto your path, onto the path. Next, we have a Pamela Floria. You have a white pin, white pin for clearing, purging, or whatever white means for you. Pamela onto the path. Yes, thank you, Canty. Next, Victoria Daniels. You've also got blue pin, truth, communication, expression, clarity. Onto the path you go. Next is this person. If I can pull the name out, Raina. That's you, Raina. Raina Ortiz. You've got pink. First one with pink. So pink, love, compassion, gentleness self-love so Raina on you go the next person after the next person I'll be pulling the next card so next is Priscilla Priscilla Kimboko you've got yellow too so strength power confidence okay so we've reached a milestone a milestone now where we pull a card and we see how we go oops all right, so the next card to add here, at this point in our journey, is this card here, card 77. It's in the Rise category, and it says, Call for help. It says, Be open to giving and receiving, sorry, giving or receiving assistance. Signal. Don't be stubborn, but let help come. Reach out, make the announcement and support. So because we're connected here with Journey, this could come from a few different angles. Some of us, maybe you, um, have been needing help lately. So maybe you have been encouraged here to step up and ask for the help that you need to keep being, keep being able to move forward. For some of us, maybe for you, it's about making an announcement. Maybe you've been working on things behind the scenes in private, in quiet, that you're getting ready to announce. So that may be important for you. And for some of us, maybe for you, it's important to know that you are supported and that you are safe as you keep going on your path. So call for help. 
with a green pin, which is healing, change, growth, the heart. Okay, and we continue going because we, there's an endurance feeling here. Let's go the distance. Andreas Kazantizidis. I don't know how to pronounce your surname. I'm so sorry. I probably butchered it badly. But Andreas, you've got the yellow pin. So we've still got yellow coming up a lot. Um, confidence, courage, strength to keep going on your path. So onto the path you go. Next has a red pin and that's Christopher Regan. So Chris you've got the red pin which is usually about physicality so survival mode, grounding, your physicality. Another stepping stone on our path and journey. Where are we going? Are we going towards an end result or are we just bridging a gap here with something that feels distant in our life. Sandy Greenham, you've also got the yellow pin. So courage, confidence, strength to keep going. And adding you as a stepping stone here on our path. Next is Angela James. You've also got the red pin. So red, physicality, grounding, your physical body, your physical life. And on you go. So we're about halfway almost. Next is Alison. Alison, you've got red pin too. So this is about uh, physicality, grounding, survival, and an important stepping stone for us all. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a lot of energy moving, especially from the navel down. So lots of very grounding focused, very physical energy. Um, coming through. How are you feeling? Okay, next person is Bridget. Bridget Mertens. Yellow. We've got yellow again. Strength, confidence, power to keep going. Focus, we could also add. Bridget, welcome. Thank you all for being a part of this journey. Next is Joanne Munro. You've got green for healing, change, growth. Next is uh, Yvonne, Yvonne Krasic. You've got red. <laughs> it's funny how all the pins are just coming out the same colour. Red for grounding, survival, physicality, passion, passion, passion. We could also add. Okay. Still going. We have Susan McMillan. Oh, I think this is our first purple. Our first purple, so spirituality, we're starting to lift vibration here. So spirituality, um, psychic things, intuition, um, our spiritual connections, or connections in general. So Susan, welcome and thank you for ushering this energy in. Uh, now we're going for white, Andrea Stewart, white pin. So this feels like we're starting to sort of lift up the vibration as we rise up. So Andrea, onto the board you go. Next is Anne-Marie Douglas. Anne-Marie, you've got green. So green for growth, healing, change, the heart. On you go there, Anne-Marie. Let's see who's next. And next is uh, Marguerite Pepper Brady. You've got blue pin. Blue pin for truth, communication, expression. Clarity. On you go. It's a nice big breath and feel like every name that I'm calling, especially if I'm calling or as I'm calling yours, you're taking really solid step, really focused, really clear, confident step forward. Susan Sonsting, you've got green pin too. So healing, growth, change, heart. Oops, you want to be a rebel and flip around here. There we go. Susan, that was a bit hard to put in actually. <laughs> Not absolutely difficult, but a bit harder than the others. Jane Larson, red. So physicality, grounding, survival, 
passion. So Jane, on we go. So we're fast approaching our next milestone. Bang! <sighs> Excuse me. Next is Amanda Sanders. We have the white pin for you, Amanda. So upgrading, connection is a feeling now. Purification. Okay, uh, two more and then we'll get to the next milestone. Next person is Angie Griswold and we have white again. So white, purging, clearing, connection and whatever you feel white represents. Angie Griswold and then the next, after this next person we'll pull another milestone uh, card. Susie Nichols. Susie, yours is blue. So blue, truth, communication, expression, clarity, and onto the path you go. Okay, next milestone we've reached. So very interesting colour sequence. Lots of yellows at the beginning, lots of reds in the middle. So it'll be interesting to see how we go moving forward. There's lots of multiple colours of pins here that I can still see left. So, the best card for this point on our journey as we continue. It's never ending. It doesn't stop. It just moves in different ebbs and flows. It wanes and it waxes. Sometimes it moves quickly. Other times it doesn't. We have this card here. The Inner Child. Card 53. It's in the depth category here. And down here it says, come out of hiding now. It's safe for you to do so. Don't hide. Release your childhood wounds so your inner child can come out and play. Healing. So now is the time to really consider to stop holding back, to stop hesitating, to allow what we've been doing in private or what we've been working through to prepare to come out of that place within us. So it doesn't mean that we have to broadcast it to everyone. It just might mean that we start talking about it more or we start doing something with it more and start bringing it out into our everyday life experience. So this is about bringing something that's been inside out. It may be your inner child. Maybe you've been becoming very serious with life or things have been coming, becoming very stressful and very serious. So maybe your inner child is calling for some playtime some fun or something creative to try something from a new direction or a new way or in a uh, from a new creative pers perspective perhaps think outside the box is the feeling so the best pin for this is yellow so lots of strength still coming in and we'll drop this here in the corner right on our heart Okay, now we start the final leg of this phase of our journey, this bridge. But the, we know that the journey doesn't stop here. Still got quite a few names here, so I'll bunch people up a bit so we can keep going without reaching the top before I'm finished with names. We've got Nicole Wiggins. Nicole, you've got white. Is it white? It actually is a very pale, pale blue. Looks... Very pale blue, so very light blue. Interesting. So a cross between white and blue, clarity, truth. It feels light somehow. So a new colour, Nicole Wiggins. Important stepping stone on our journey. Next person is Carly Chiricciello. Carly, you've got the green pin. So growth, healing, change, heart. And onto the board. All steps are equally as important as the others. Robin Hippler. Robin, you've got the green pin too. So healing, growth, change, heart. Next is Joanna Levine. Joanna, you've got the red pin. So red for Grounding, physicality, survival mode, passion. 
Okay, next, and then we'll do some drumming. We've got probably about eight or ten names left. Magenta Borales. Magenta, yours is red also. So red for grounding, physicality, anchoring, passion, bringing what you want into your life. Okay, next has white. It's Chelsea, Keith, Chelsea, welcome. You've got the white pin, so purification, cleansing, but also connection and whatever white means for you. Because white is a sort of personal thing, I think, that we kind of have. I mean, we do with all the colours, but white especially. Oh, Bathsheba, Bathsheba Dixon, you have the red pin. So red pin, again, for grounding, physicality, passion, anchoring what you're thinking about into your life. Next is Linda Davidson, white for you. <laughs> so we've very much got greens and reds and whites up here. White for you, Linda. So clearing, purging, connection, and whatever white means for you. Next is Janice Chalmers. Janice, you've got the green pin, green for healing, growth, change, heart. Ah, exciting. Next is Carol White. And I haven't pulled a pin yet for you, so let's just, without stabbing myself, grab a random pin. You've got yellow. Breaking the mould here. Strength, confidence, courage to keep going. It's very light yellow. Oh, very hard to get in that one. Okay, we have, it looks like, four names left. Next person is Kathleen Glenn. Kathleen, ouch. <laughs> I've got my first stab. Your pin is green. So healing, growth, change, heart. This feels fun. We're getting to the top. Three left. Who's next? Martha Samuels. Martha, you've got pink. We haven't got many pinks come up. There's a few pinks down there. Pink for love, gentleness, softness, self-love, support. So in you go. Two left. Who's next? Oh. Next person is Michelle Birch. And your colour is this. Yellow. Yellow. Strength, courage, confidence to keep going. Focus. And lucky last, and then we also pull a card, is Jane. <laughs> Jane, are you still there? You're finishing off our path today. And your colour is this. Pink. So pink. Love, support. Gentleness, compassion, self-love, that sort of thing. So right up on the top there you are. Let's grab a card now to not complete, maybe just complete this chapter or this phase of our journey that's going to continue. And then I'm going to play the drum. So the best card now to um, tie this up, finalise this phase, wind up this chapter, Get us to the other side of the bridge where we where we might find ourselves. Is this ah oh, yes? <laughs> yes, the rise of the phoenix, card 33. Rise. And it says, take everything to the next level, rebirth, new life, let go, emerge as your real you. You create galaxies through your thoughts and in actions <laughs> and intentions. Expand. So this came up recently in a video I did as well, but um, it's come up now right for the very end. So it's takeoff point up here. This is not the end. This is not the end. This is a bridge. This has helped us focus on what's important for us individually in regards to our path and the direction we're taking right now. And then reaching this pinnacle up here, is not the end we know that this is springboarding us to the next level ready for rebirthing what are we rebirthing 
What are you rebirthing now as you get to this point, as you perhaps feel more focused and aligned with your path? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, we've got the one of the only two. Yeah, only two. This is the second purple that's actually come up. So purple um, connection. It's the crown chakra. It's spirituality, spiritual things. Uh, yes, I can do that, Jane. No problem. So I'll put the cards. Um, I'll probably send the cards through Patreon so you can see them. So Rise of the Phoenix, Inner Child, Call for Help. Own your power, 109, 77, 53, 33. Let's drum. Let's drum. So I feel very excited. Drumming, I haven't drummed with this drum before. It's brand new. It is on the website if it speaks to you. Um, but it is, I, I, I mean, I absolutely love this sort of mountainy rock area. And it almost feels like fire. Very earthy fire, but very solid, especially up here. So this solid ground that we're standing upon as the wolf calling out. What are you calling out for? Are you calling for help? Are you making an announcement? Are you verbalizing something? What are you calling out for that's to help take you to the next step in your life? Maybe you're also connecting with your own cycles your own phases and changes that you're going through in your life and letting that energy expand out, ripple out into your life. So there's a very high light feeling up here, very delicate, very gentle. But this here feels very solid, so very solid ground that uh, we're standing on. So imagine yourself standing on solid ground. If you do need to make a call or an announcement, yes. Yes, Raina. Raina's calling out to my pack, to her pack. Mm. So I'm going to drum. I'm drumming with the back of the drum to the board and really helping solidify, to anchor, to really ground what we've been doing today. So take some big deep breaths and feel the drum in your body really grounding you and aligning you with your actual steps, the action steps for you to take next on your life's path.
amazing. The voices in this drum are quite incredible. So I felt very strongly like a lot of rhythm, but a lot of like um, finding our voice. Finding our voice, finding our place, finding our ability to express who we are. Of course, if we don't know who we are, we might need to back that expression up and find that first. So as we find who we are or become clearer about who we are, then we can express it and we can live it and we can be it. We can follow it. So until we know that, we can't do that. But I feel a lot of that happening. A lot of really finding our voice, finding who we are and expressing that almost like an intention and an air of vibration that moves forward from that point of expression, that moment of expression, and it moves forward into our life, forward onto our path, which I feel like is what we've done here, like lots of forward momentum that we've gained as we've placed each step. And each of us or each of you have been a, a really important stepping stone on this journey as we've bridged the gaps, gotten focused again, reorientated ourselves or whatever it is that we personally needed to get back on track, to get back into alignment with our journey. So very exciting. Let's get ready to pull a card to go. I trust you're feeling good. I trust you're feeling great. And you may be nice and focused and anchored in your body and onto your path and ready to take the next step. So what is the next step for you? Sometimes the next step is action. So it might be asking for help. It might be finding out more information. It may be making progress with something or taking progress. It may be just sitting in the energy and just sitting in it to get clarity especially if we're not sure what to do next or how to proceed or, you know, uh, where are we going? Sometimes we need to just sort of pause, maybe do something else and the next step. Or just other times, I just follow what feels right. I trust my intuition and I trust my, what I call my intuitive impulses, which are to uh, my impulse to do this. I also trust what I'm curious about. And I trust what excites me. I trust in that energy. So sometimes that's enough for me to be able to move forward. I don't have to uh, wait for all the details. But in some cases I do. In general, I mainly just follow what I'm feeling strongly. That feels good. That's what I'm doing 90% of the time. Then the other 10% I'm probably feeling for clarity. Um, so I know what to do next or where I'm going next or who to contact, that sort of thing. So thank you for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this connection, please hit the thumbs up button. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. If you would love to be a part of our, our healing list event next month, it will happen towards the end of February and I'll let you know of the date um, earlier in February. Um, to become a part of this, you'll need to be one of my Temple of Balance patrons for February um, at the $15 level or higher, and you'll automatically be added here. So thank you. If you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance, please visit templeofbalance.com.au. Well, these cards are very well shuffled, so let's see what is the best card that we all need now as we move forward from here. So we're going beyond the board now. So what do we need to know about that next phase? What's next from here? Oh, look at this. Spiral of Grace, card 24. It's in the Rise category. This does represent our path. It says lifting out of karmic patterns and old wounds and the past. Transform fear into love. Let the past go. Lighten your load, release separation issues. So this is about moving to a new level of our actual path where maybe our path was more linear or more circular where it went around and around and we maybe had these patterns and things that kept repeating themselves stuck on the wheel of karma, we could say. 
Um, and this card's very much about lifting out of that heaviness, that repetitive, um, repeated patterns, that heavy energy, and lifting up into our path that becomes a spiral. So it's a bit like earlier in the month in the in the Pillar of Light Facebook group, we did a private healing event about the serpent. The snake came up about being a part of our path. What if this is like the, the serpent and this is just a part of the, the bigger picture of it? Just a, a little arm here. What if this, this corner here is just a little arm of this spiral energy? If the serpent energy or the spiral or whatever you resonate with is spiraling what if this is a an arm a fraction of that spiral and we're moving and expanding ourselves in this on this spiral path transforming fear into love or turning fear into love transforming our challenges into opportunities so we can keep growing and keep expanding on our journey so yeah very exciting moving forward so what's the message for this then moving forward is to continue to let go of our baggage and the stuff that's weighing us down. Look at our perspective of things, especially if we're feeling scared or fearful or challenged or if we're feeling low and, and in a difficult spot. How is there a potential in this somehow? How can we turn this challenge into a potential opportunity for us to grow or for us to step into something new that we haven't done before? So letting the burdens, the baggage go, and allowing ourselves to lighten and move into the spiral of grace, lifting up into love, into expansion and lightness. So what needs lightening for you and what steps can you take to achieve that? Thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoyed our connection today and I trust you have too and have found something helpful and valuable. Thank you so much for your support and enjoy the rest of your January which is not uh, not very many days left now. So um, I'll see you again maybe next month in February. <laughs> Goodbye for now and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.